What's going on guys, Mira here, back again with another Genshin Impact video and today we are going to talk about Zhongli's team composition. So Zhongli is going to be released real soon um, once the child banner ends, which is in about 5 days or so. So I thought it would be interesting to take a look at his um, team composition, his ideal team composition, uh, now that all the characters that have been released are released um, before Zhongli. So since we have Diona, uh, I would like to talk a little bit more about her and incorporate her into the team. So I would like to show you guys uh, just what I will be building with Zhongli. And without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Alright, so we are at a blank character setup page right now. And I'm going to show you guys how I will build with Zhongli in the team. So for obvious reasons, we don't have Zhongli right now. So I'm going to pretend that child is Zhongli. So pretend this guy here is Zhongli and we will build around him. So the first character that we need is uh, a Geo character with a Geo construct. So my character of choice here would be Ning Guang. So the reason why I chose Ning Guang over um, the main character or Noelle is because for Noelle she doesn't have a Geo construct and for the main character uh, there's just one edge that Ning Guang has. So the reason why I chose Ningguang over the main character is because of this skill. So as you can see here, a character that passes through the Jade screen will gain a 12% Geo damage bonus for 10 seconds. So the Jade screen is her E, and if Zhongli passes through this screen, his Geo damage will be increased by 12%. That is really really nice compared to the main character which doesn't offer this. So this is going to be a nice boost to Zhongli's uh, Geo damage, meaning his E and his Q will both get, get a nice boost. So for the next character, or rather the next two characters, I have decided to run a super conduct team with Zhongli. And the reason is because he really scales very hard with uh, physical damage bonus. And I am going to be building the Crescent Pike on him, which if you didn't know, uh, further boosts his physical damage. So for Superconduct, uh, it will actually decrease the physical uh, defense of enemies, making him scale even harder and deal even more damage with physical attacks. So that's why I am going to run a physical or rather a Superconduct team. So for a Superconduct team, you need a Cryo character and a Electro character. So the Electro character that I have decided with is Fischl. And the reason why I chose Fischl is because her E deals consistent Electro damage and will apply the Electro debuff. And I don't have to worry about charging her energy to press her Q and all that kind of stuff just to apply the Electro debuff. I can just switch into hit her and press E and switch out. And that will be the end of it. And with um, Lisa, you can't really do that because her E is only single target and only applies the Electro debuff once. And to get any sustained Electro debuff on her, you have to get to her Q. And her Q, I'm just too lazy to charge her up, okay, honestly. So I'm gonna go with Fischl. So for the last character, we have to go with a Cryo character. And our only choices are Kaya, Chongyun, and Diona. So I'm gonna go with Diona for this slot. And I'm going to explain why I didn't use Kaya and Chongyun. But before that, let me just explain to you why Kaya and Chongyun would also fit the build. So Kaya has a really nice Q that applies a sustained cryo element, which is really nice. But the reason why I don't pick him is because you can achieve a similar effect with Diona's Q and Chongyun's E, which is even better. So Chongyun's E will actually apply the cryo effect and that basically just puts Kaya out of commission. And for Chongyun, the reason why I didn't choose him is not because he's not good. And actually, I think Chongyun would be amazing on this team. But even though his E, uh, as you can see over here, um, here, sorry. So his E actually allows Chongli to um, apply cryo element with just his normal attacks, which I think is amazing. But... Because it uh, deals cryo damage, it doesn't apply physical damage anymore. 
So that is the reason why I cannot go with Chong Yun on this one. Sure, I'll be able to apply Superconduct every hit, but that would negate the purpose of um, building physical damage on Chong Li. So our only choice would be Diona because first of all, um, her Q would apply AOE consistent cryo debuff similar to Kaya, but it applies it in a bigger AOE. And second of all, her E is a really nice shield that would be able to keep Zhongli even longer in the field and he would be able to dish out even more physical damage. And on top of that, her Q will actually heal Zhongli. So all the sustain from Diona is just too good to pass up. So I know I've uh, recommended Barbara in the past because you can amp uh, Zhongli's damage with Barbara, but right now Diona is looking like the better pick because of Superconduct and also because of the sustain that she offers. So this will be the team that I will be first experimenting with. And keep in mind that this will be um, Zhongli and not Tataglia. And yeah, this will be the team that I will be rocking with. So I will be pulling uh, Zhongli on the first day that he comes out. So you guys definitely don't want to miss it because I will be maxing him out immediately and also uh, testing it out on stream live for you guys. So if you don't want to miss that, do hit the like on this video and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss my stream. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated on what is the best team to put with Zhongli and yeah that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace